model change there? And it's almost counterintuitive because people think we're in this huge energy boom here in the U.S. Right. Let's invest. It's going to be endlessly great for these companies. So why isn't it then? Well, it, it, it hasn't been great for the companies. It's been pretty good for manufacturers and the consumer, uh, particularly in the U.S. Uh, in terms of the integrated oil companies, um, the business demonstrably has gotten worse. And, and it's a s for a simple reason. The cost of finding oil and replacing your reserves has gone up. And let's just use Exxon as an example. I mean, their revenues are down year over year, um, yet the amount of capital they've employed in the business continues to grow. Their cash flow has dropped dramatically. And, and we're in the past, Exxon has been able to finance its dividends and its buybacks out of free cash flow, it no longer is able to do that. It only basically finances half of that, dividends and, and, and buybacks. Um, Exxon used to have returns on capital of, of around 30%. I mean, an amazingly profitable business. Well, that's been cut in a third in the past year. Now, now it's about 20%. So it's telling you that on the margin, these companies are increasingly finding it difficult to cheaply replace the reserves. And, and I've, I've basically called them, they're liquidating trusts. Mm -hmm. And they're not the values they used to be. And they're having now to borrow to finance a lot of the financial engineering that they're doing to keep their, their shares on, um, at the same level. So ExxonMobil is not a value stock like Warren I don't, I don't it think it, I don't think it's a value stock. I think it's a value trap. Um, and, and the national oil companies are even worse. I don't even think they're businesses. I think you're basically financing government programs. So if you look at a Petrobras in Brazil, for example, the government restricts their ability um, to earn a profit uh, in selling gasoline and diesel to consumers. And then on the upstream side, mandates that they do business with local uh, suppliers. So they're sort of hindered on both ends. Um, their, uh, their capital structure is extremely leveraged, and they're not able to earn a return. So in effect, investors, outside investors, are financing government transfer payments. And this is, this is being replicated in other national oil companies besides just Petrobras. So I think that that, that business model is, is, is really one where investors are supporting government programs.